doing? How doing? Surviving, you know? Good, man. Good. Good. Yeah, I came. I came for some chicken, man. You gave us some chicken. We had to bring our own chicken, <laughs> that's, man. That's all right. Hey, hey. It's hey. called barbecue chicken, and we had to bring our own chicken, man. You're right. You're right. You're right. But we on a budget. This <laughs> 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 the first show, first episode. You know what I mean? We 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 gonna build on that. We gonna build on that. You know okay, what I mean? Cool. But yeah, yeah, yeah. First real real question I have is like, how y'all been? I haven't seen y'all in a minute, man. You know, like on on the real. You been jet setting. You know what I mean? Every time you get on Instagram, you're in a new country. So, man, man. Just mean. trying to live life, man. <laughs> a whole lot of trying to take in every experience I can at the moment, you know? Like, yeah, it's good. You did sign with Perth? Me. Just yeah. signed with Perth another two years, going back to Perth. Going to be there with my brother. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And yourself, Mr. Anthony? I'm good, man. You know, daddy mode, you know, coach mode. Just trying to... Trying to trying to evolve, bro. That's, that's, that's good. I feel that as a black man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. But I think you don't have a little chance but to evolve. It's just, you you got to have an evolution. You can't stay the same, you know, your your, your whole life. You, what you doing? You coaching? You coaching? What you coaching at this year? Yeah, I'm doing a little coaching. I'm helping <clears> over <throat> at Oakland Grandma with, uh, with the Prims, helping Lindsay Tate over there. Um, shout out Lindsay Tate. Shout out Lindsay. Avondale for life, my brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we take we, but now we're doing Auckland Grandma and uh, fun, heaps of challenges, heaps of things that, heaps of stuff that me and Lindsay have been through through our lives, and to be coaching next to him now, it's real dope actually, real dope. Now, um, your boy going there is 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 well. My son goes there. Um, I was I was about to take the the junior team. But now I kind of wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be up his ass the whole time. I wanna kind of let him grow, and we can. And I coach him. I also have a basketball a club called the Wolfpack. So I coach him with the Wolfpack, and I think we'll leave it at the Wolfpack for now. And I let him. You know, I'll give him the tips here and there. I'm not gonna head coach him through his high school mm -hmm. days. I'll just be there. You know. But that Wolfpack, that's you and Lindsay. That's you and Lindsay. No, right? no, look, that's Wolfpack is me and Jalal. So Jalal, shout out Jalal oh, yeah. too. Yeah, we we run the Wolfpack together. Lindsay's got Lindsay runs the whole thing. ACB. Oh yeah. Oakland City yeah. Basketball. He's got a club called the Silverbacks. And we go at it every yeah most terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's about it, man. Yeah, too much. Going well. You yourself, you doing some off scene training, or you just you just chilling? No, I'm training. A lot of dad mode too. It's looking sad. after my boy, but catching up on that time when I'm, you know, when I'm away. But yeah, not just training at the moment. Every day, gonna head over to the states soon. Just train, work out, and stuff like that. And then, yeah. But how's that? How's that? How's that? Your new, your new dad. Your new dad. Yeah, it's a different. It's a took put me in a different mode. <clears> you know? It took me to another gear. You know, like being a. I'm sure you guys know. You know, being a dad and stuff like. I don't know, he's just having my little, like, my little mini-me run around, run around with For sure, for sure. How you like so that? Uh, but what's that, that, uh, like, you know, knowing you have to, you know, you got to go train. Yeah, yeah. And then coming back to, you know, that, that QT. Because that's, 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 that's kind of important in the early years. Or, or yeah, when you yeah, see yeah. it as a, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing what's best yeah, for them. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a balance, like you said. Like, I'm definitely in the mode of, like, just trying to do what's best for him. Like, trying to make as much money as I can so he can have whatever he wants, you know, trying to support him. You know, I got to make sure he's good before, first and foremost, you know, even before I'm good, I got to make sure he's good. So I'm definitely in the mode of trying to, like, you know, get all the fruit while I can, you know, pick That's it all up while I can, get the, get the bag while I can, and then... But when I'm here and when I'm chilling, you know, it's it's I'm, I'm full dad, man. You know, I'm spending as much time as with him. Yeah. He's a beautiful and I'm black lucky. man. And I'm yeah. lucky his mum like is so cool with like letting me spend time with him when I can and with my schedule and shit like that. You know, like she she's awesome, man. Yeah, she's she's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she's understanding. Yeah, yeah. he's done real good, bro. Yeah. Any other babies on the way or anything like that? Any other babies in the way? <laughs> I know of, but <laughs> you, know, hey, you, you, get, you get that phone call any day, man. You know what I'm saying? You get that phone call any day. Tell me about it. But how'd it go for you? How'd it go for you? Uh, What's you know, that? Your fatherhood, how do you feel about it? Oh, man, it's, it's, 
Cause you're old dad. Man, you're my boy's dad. 13, yo. He's 13, starting to, starting to swell up on me a little bit, you know? And, uh, yeah, man, I've embraced it. I've embraced it. He's, uh, I got a small family anyway, so it was cool. Yeah, cool. But you had your, your, your son early, or, mm -hmm. or went and down the daughter. What was that like for you, you know, at that time? Man, I was a wild boy. <laughs> Maybe the wildest? <laughs> Trying to manage my life and basketball at the same time, you know? I was a father at the same time, out here. Playing. Was you ready? You think you was ready at that time, or...? or? Nah, I was not ready. <laughs> Was not ready, not even close to ready, but shit, that, that's how it lined up, you know. And um, you may do. I think that happens to 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 all of us, really. That's how that how it goes down. No, the first for real. Time. And and what it what it really did was put change my priorities, put things in order, you know. Basketball was everything, and then me was after that, you know what I mean. And then once he came along, it turned to him before everybody, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and you want him to play ball too. You want to play. I want him to play if he wants to play. He want to play. You see, you the same. You the same. Yeah. I mean, I want him to play, but like, <laughs> like, of course, I want him to play, but like, yeah, I'm into whatever he's into. Yeah, like, you know, for sure, we rocking with whatever he's a, into. So you be a trophy parent, or, or, or you know, be pretty. In, the, what's, in a, the, what's a trophy parent? You know, you know the parents. You 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 know the parents is this this. Like it, it, I don't know what to drink too much for the kid, like, trophy, a, you know, like a helicopter parent type of thing, like just be... Yeah, they always do. Them, yeah, yeah they own you. Nah, I'm just training. Mean, nah. you know, I'm even like that now, like, <clears throat> I don't even pick them up when we're walking nowhere, you know, like, unless we're crossing the road, like, you know, I'm off walk, I treat him like, you know, that's, like, he's a, a, an adult, you know, like, yeah, he's like a big kid or something, you know, like, I'm more for him having his, finding his own independence and all of that, yeah, like, navigating his way through life, like, you know, taking in every experience that he can, like, for himself, you know, I don't want to be there for holding his hand, doing all of that, like, that's just the way I feel, you know, like, old school. I think there's a balance, I think there's a balance. There's also, like, that is, like, you can't really, like, growing up in New Zealand as well, like, you know, that's, that's a whole different thing than, like, if he had grown up in the States or whatever, like, that's almost too dangerous to look to be like that, you know, but, like, yeah, I think yeah. we're sheltered in the sense and lucky in the sense in New Zealand that we can like kind of raise him like that, like let him have his. But the transitioning into that this is just something I want to get you guys' perspective on, uh, as as well as you you say like uh, going to the to the states or, mm -hmm. or being different from the states. Now, uh, me being African American, you guys, your pops is African American, your mom's a uh, Cajun. Your mom's Caucasian, your dad's, you know what I mean? It's like, what side do you identify with the the, the, the strongest, you know what I mean? Like, did you see some as you was coming up, like, you know, see people treating you different because your mom was, you know, it was in a, in a racial relationship or, you know what I mean? Was, was it like that, that people treat you different or, or did you, like, kind of sense that coming up when y'all was coming through? Or is yeah, it just your sure. mama was your mom and your daddy was your daddy type, type thing? For sure, you get treated differently mm -hmm. out here. I think that um, as an African American in this country, as an African American in this country, everybody watches TV, everybody listens to, mm -hmm. everybody listens to the radio, mm -hmm. and and that's and that's looked at completely different than it would be if we were in America. It's looked at completely different. It was accepted in a completely different way. And yeah, you got to navigate that because that comes with people that admire you, but that also comes with jealousy as well. Thanks, thanks. And then that also comes with a certain amount of fear that we generate for some reason. But yeah, you feel that? Yeah. It was also a cool thing to be like African American, like as a kid, like you know, that's like, the, the admiring part. There was yeah, <laughs> that's the there admiring also, part. There was not. There was nobody like us, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, there's only us, like, and we're damn near family, you know? Like, there's not a whole, mm. like, we don't have, like, a community of, like, you know? Like, it's literally just us, like, my like my dad's homies are, like, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, we damn near all the, you know, that we know of, at least, African-Americans, <laughs> like, in Auckland, or, like, the North Shore, at least, or in Auckland, I suppose. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I guess it was cool, but it was, like, no one was like us, you know? So there was that, like, bit of, like, yeah, I feel the admiration as well, mm. but at the same time, it's, like... 
you know, like it's just you know, me and my brothers and my, my family, like no one's really like us. So but this isn't just my perspective, like say I'm coming to New Zealand, you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know nobody. It's right. like, it's just like, I'm cool with my wife's family or whatever, but then you don't really feel no sense of, um, you know, like you really belong. Community. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, they're going to be cool with you, but like. You ain't them. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like, I, mean, like, that's I feel like that with my, like with my <laughs> mom's family, like with my white family, you know, we sitting around, we all like, you know, they're straight white people. And then just like me and my brother there, like we just. Well, you ask one thing. It, which side do we identify yeah, with? We, we've yeah. got no choice, bro. I think, yeah, the way we look. Like, we've, we've got no even, choice. Got We're no black. Choice by the way we look. <laughs> like, you can say which side, like, you might be acting a certain kind of way, but we but, don't have no choice in that. I mean, at least you're in somewhere like Auckland where it's a little more diverse. You can start to feel, you know what I mean? You can oh, start to true. feel a little more, eh. But, but we I'm, ain't them neither. It's, it's complicated, that one. Is it? Yeah, yeah. If we, you got, cause it, I think Tita would get it, you know, mm -hmm. it's different out here, it's, it's, because we grew up with people of colour, mm -hmm. but they, they still didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the same. No. It's not the same. It's, it's not even close. Yeah, and it's kind of like, it's, is they can't get the perspective of. How could they? Because they don't live with it. You know, if it, they, they? they identify with the skin tone is and, and the movies and the and the yeah, songs yeah, that they've yeah, heard, yeah. But yeah. they don't know what so you said. Yeah, that, like, yeah, almost yeah. fools them into thinking they understand it. Exactly, they, they're down with the music. Exactly, or they understand the music. Exactly. Or they have the same type of pain from the music or whatever. Or they, will they rap? Or, or they, they rap? Yeah, or, or, or they play but different? Ball. But yeah, but, I mean that's you know, I guess every every race kind of has their their truth that they live in. You know, hundred percent. And ours is us. Well, uh, of course you're gonna get love if it's is do but do you feel we more play. hate than than more hate than love? Do Not at all, bro. It? It's love. Like we've also been fortunate enough to put the colours on for our country as well. You know? Like that's big no matter what sport we're in. And when that's the case, it's love. We've 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 bled mm -hmm. for this shit. But like, are you talking about like a couple haters on the street? Yeah, of course. But and I don't even know if they would even be brave enough to tell him that they hated him. You know what I mean? It's all love that until is, it ain't. But uh, yeah, I could definitely I could feel that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the NBA. If y'all, oh y'all want to fly into the NBA? I'm talking about the NBA. We can do that. We can, can you send me your picks for this year? You got for my picks who you think is gonna be in the final? This year, I'm I'm rolling with I'm rolling with at this stage I'm rolling with the Nuggets. You, you, what do you think, Nuggets Boston? Jimmy Buckets, Boston, uh, Boston, Denver. Gotta be, gotta be Boston. There's gonna be some folks saying Boston Lakers. Get it fully What's the series? They were saying they were fully in Boston. They were saying they were. What's the series? Two one. Two one. Boston. Two one. Boston, Boston, Boston. Boston's beating Philly, full stop. Yeah, well, then, that's the big, that's the most competition to me. I don't, I don't really, you know, like Boston. I mean, Miami's. Man, nah, Philly Miami's ain't got it. Tough, Philly, bro. Philly just ain't it. They, they, they are okay. Nah, Philly, all right though. Philly, yeah, exactly. Philly, all right. You didn't say nothing but okay. Harden playing like AD. I'm gonna turn up every other game. My man's oh, oh, nervous oh, oh. out there. History repeating. You can see he's so scared of the same thing happening. It's happening all over again. Well, fuck, you gotta change it. You gotta change it. AD. If you want to change it, they have it though. You gotta change it. But it's the thing I see in James Harden is he doesn't. It's not like he's flaking. It's not on purpose. It just looks like he's he really struggles. Like it just looks like proper struggling. You know what I mean? Like how are you hmm. struggling? Did he just kill in the last game? He played good at the first game. Had forty five. Yeah. Last two games trash. Even eight. Even eight. Yes. You gotta watch. Um, I, I haven't, haven't been watching. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like proper trash. Like looking. Looking like he's hyperventilating out there, <gasps> doing things like that. It might. Be, well, I gotta see who comes out of this Warriors Lakers series. You really gotta see. You just asked me to make a pick. No, I still think Denver all out, but I don't know how this Warriors Lakers series is gonna go because it looks like Lakers. Look, Y'all might be sleep on Phoenix, low like, King. Like Phoenix might just you, you, run it up on the. They don't look like it. They they don't look like. They are it. not beating them. They pull out. Chris Paul was huge losing. Losing Chris Paul was huge for. But typical yeah. the way, 
That's always him. Yeah. You pull AD about to go business. soon, though, too. AD about to go. <sighs> Knock some wood if you can. AD about to go. He is. Knock some wood if you can. He gonna hurt his big toe. He gonna hurt his big toe. And then what you think about what you think about old uh, Zion like being a New Orleans fan? And you know like, what? That, you know what's what? What's up with all the rumors about show. him being a princess and like? Really? Is he running the show? Though, really? I'm gonna give y'all my spiel. This is my spiel. Look, I'm like. I don't know no player that wants to that this just doesn't make sense to me. I play wait, I just signed the extension. I signed the extension. When I could have left. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I signed the extension. Okay, I play, I'm balling, I get hurt. How you gonna get mad? I get I can't do I got hurt. I'm i I'm sorry. Like if you're thinking of like missing, like you know how they say he missing all the rehab, the workouts and shit like that. No, now don't get me wrong. When he broke his foot last year, he was probably on some shit like on then. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm Zion, whoop the whoop the whoop, y'all. And them people was like, look, dog, you big. You need to do something. Mm. He came back. He was strong. Me, I can't fold you getting injured. I can't, cause you can't blame that on the medical staff. You can't blame it on the coaching. None of that, dog. You got hurt. There's nothing that's out of your control. You can't do nothing about that. That's a good point. Now, they're gonna pay him regardless. And then what they gonna think? He gonna come off an injury, request a trade. He gonna go to somebody else. Mm. Like somebody else gonna pick up that injury. That's that's not, dog. It don't make sense. To me, the social media thing is is, is they be blowing this shit way out of proportion. But you got hurt. That's it. I, you can't do nothing. Think about the social media shit. What do you think about John Morant? Like, the, remember how you got the gun? Like, was that not blown out of proportion to you, or do you think that was just? You can't do that. You can't do and that. You absolutely this, this, can. But at the same time, was, was the was the did the you know did the punishment fit the crime? But you gotta yes. expect that though. The punishment you gotta expect that. Yeah, yeah, to in to today's me it was a little extreme. Well, understand this, bro. It's not fear, but like as as athletes. It, it, it automatically puts you in a different rule book than if you were an artist, if you were a rapper, if you were a musician. It changes to to role model, it changes to Disney, because ESPN is Disney, owned by Disney, right? So it changes to like your demographic, like fully. But then America, America like a good comeback story anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, was, it, they was laughing really, Everybody, no, nobody cared. But they blew it up because he made a mistake, they, and it was a they bad one. Yep. And yep. apparently, he had two other charges that were pending that wasn't even talked about. I remember Gilbert Arenas brought the gun to the locker room. Locker room like, yeah, him, he got in trouble for that too. Him, your boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. a little bit crazy to me, though. That's crazy. Bringing the gun to the locker room is crazy. I mean, who wants to think of the basketball thing at the moment? Ask y'all some 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 serious questions after after this. You know, really? going with this. That's why I brought it. Are you? Because you, 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 you didn't been around. You didn't been around. You didn't went to a couple of camps, uh, or did had the NBA environment that that type of thing. Is it, are you, in? Are you where you thought you were, envisioning your 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 career at this point? Now I'm supposed to be in the NBA now, but for the most part, honestly, like a lot of it went like the way I kind of expected or like had thought. Like even when I was a kid, like I always was like, I used to like lie to other kids and be like, yeah, I'm going to college. Like, you know, like, it's already set up, you know? Like, you know, like a little kid, you know, he used to be talking shit on the playground. I used to say shit like that, like, you know, like not even knowing like, but literally manifested it in my mind of like, I'm going to college, I'm going to be a professional basketball player. Like I knew from day one, like what it was, like where I was going, all of that. So like for the most part my life kind of like went the like the way I like expected it to go like I expected him to go to college, I expected it to go professional you know like and you didn't work out for the NBA shit. You, you I mean no nah, definitely not. There's definitely been like all types of unforeseen like peaks circumstances, and peaks and valleys. You know like I like I didn't want to come back to the Australian league this early in my career. I wanted to rock out in Europe for a little bit longer. But at the same time like my circumstances changed with having the sun mm -hmm. and stuff like now it's so much harder for me to leave. Mm -hmm. I can't really just pick up and go like I used to you go. Too, like, yeah. you know, you know, I go. You know, now I get depressed and shit when I'm leaving. You know, like now I'm like at the airport, you know, like dreading it. It used to be like, oh, I'm off. Like, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Good to see you. I'm gonna see y'all in no, ten months. Like you know, like <laughs> love everyone. I'm out. Like ten months, I'm go do my thing. You but know, that single life. So. That's, yeah, yeah. But but, but I guess you, see, you still have aspirations to get into the. To I mean, the it's always still yeah, and like the the end goal or whatever at the end of the gym. You know, I'll never say no to an opportunity okay. as well to a, not a door that opens like that. But mm -hmm. I'm also you know I'm 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 very content with the way my. Career happens, went, like, you know, yeah, I, I mean, other than cool. the NBA, I touched everything. I did everything I wanted to do other than the NBA, in terms of basketball, you know. And you, you beat, you, you, you're not playing anymore, you know, like. No, my, I, take, I take my joys in watching these guys now. I take my joys in watching this guy and his brother cook, watching young Dante cook, watching all these things, you know, watching my son get mm. better, watching your kids get better. Why, why, why you, why you play? The talent is there. It was there. Yeah, I was, I was, I left the, I left the hole in New Zealand basketball. Really, I left a big hole at that spot. And truth be told, I just, I just had to put myself first. Like, I just needed to get right. My journey through basketball was, was, uh, was off the fucking chain. Like, I was, a, I was a dog off the chain, just doing what exactly what I wanted to do. You know. It was unhealthy for me to keep doing what I was doing in the sport, you know. And I got out for me. I got out for my son. And I don't really miss it. I miss the competitions. I still like to play games. I still bust him up every chance I get. But no, I don't miss the politics. I don't miss the bullshit. I don't miss the, the fake friends. I don't miss it. So it's just more of a mental, a mental thing. It's not actually playing the game. No, 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 no. It's nah, just nah, all the stuff that, that I really love basketball. That, that came. That shit is hot, man. Well, there is a lot of bullshit and fake <laughs> friends and a whole lot of that that goes on too. That's like the kind of the you know the the underbelly of it all too. I couldn't like, sit there and watch it happen around me and be fucked over at the same time. I couldn't sit there. I still can't. So if I do it, I will do it my way. Yeah, yeah. I'm older now. I guess I was a little bit less able to handle how I felt back then. No, you were professional, straight out of high school, and but you you went to school. Mm -hmm. I know y'all got perspectives on on you know um, what was better, which we we'll probably want to hear as as well, because the situation was reversed. If you would have went to school in 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 that route, or in preference to you going straight to the to the NBA, that's a great question. <clears throat> I probably needed some school. I probably needed some discipline, like they was handing out in college and stuff mm. like that. Probably needed some going straight pro. Let me sleep all day and train at night. You know, I didn't have nobody reining me in. I was just doing what I wanted, mm. man. And you then know? it probably would have been better on your perspective, and, or say your your basketball career would have came. Do you think would have came out better if had you had that discipline? Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I don't think there was much telling me anything. Mm. And yeah. you, know, you remember, man, there wasn't much telling me anything. But the question is, is, did you want to hear it? Too, you, you know, know what I mean? Like I head. said, I don't know. Like it might have worked. I might have just got worse. Like I just. Yeah. <laughs> or, or oh, this part is crazy too. Do you think the message would have been received if it was coming from somebody else? I think it was hard to follow these leaders that I didn't respect for sure, and it's real hard for me to sit there and and and. and Are you talking about coaches? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, I guess both. I guess both, and there was a lot of respect for the players, like the ones that before me. I got no, I got no disrespect for the way that these guys played the game. Mm. Full stop. Nah, you 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 think you would have went like a different route or, or well, went straight pro? Yeah, I'm I'm grateful I went to college because it made me like it made me a man for one. You know, mm. I literally went when I was 17, left when I was 21, 22. I mean, you know, like how yeah. you feel when you're yeah. a damn near a man, I guess. When you, you know, bought you, your first Jordans, all of that, you know? <laughs> and all of that, paying my own bills, all of that <laughs> shit. You know, like so, I'm grateful for that. Like spending four years of it. And it you know, it teaches you a lot of things, like as well as, you know, life lessons, as well as, you know, just basketball and shit like that. But I mean, like, you know, like being a professional basketball player is a motherfucker. Like, like that's, it's a dangerous, you know, like it, you know, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Like you said, train up. Would you, you know, not do it again? Day? If you had the option, 
do, would you do it again? Like, would you say, would you go to school? Or, yeah, I'd go back to school. You know like, and school. I had the time of my life at school as well. Like, it was like, it was college. We're talking, you know, like, it's like, it was like the movies. Mm. For real. If I'm being all the way honest, it was the, like, the, like, literally, like, exactly how I envisioned, like, envisioned it being, it was that. I had the time of my life there, and, and I got better at basketball and became a man. Like, you know, I have nothing good, nothing bad to say, say about, about yeah, my experience. Yeah. Other than, you know, I, my coach was trash. <laughs> that was the only thing. But that's how, you know, that was the only thing. in a perfect world. But, and, yeah, I think different. If different people are going to benefit from different, like, like Benny said, maybe a little bit of, like, you know, not, I wouldn't say guidance, but, like, you know, like, fucking tracks to run on, you know, like someone, you know, a little bit of discipline or whatever, you know, like having, you know, that, so it depend that on over you would have maybe done him better, you know, and like, um, yeah, I don't know, I think it's, it, it just the piece. story is different. story is different for sure, it's like, different. Different. Can, can, you know, benefit from both aspects. I think you, I think you're right on, on, on that. That's, it definitely depends on the, on the, on the person, because each, each one is different. Yeah. And even talking like from, from, from my daughter's, uh, you know, my perspective in regards to, to my daughter. You know, my thing is that I just wanted to go to school. You know what I mean? I just wanted to go to school. Look, for me, it's, it's I'm thinking of the long game. You know what I mean? It's just like you, you can't play basketball for forever. Because I'm like, if uh, my thing was is if if you know you ain't about to make buku money or you're going to be average about it, just use it to get where you want to get. You feel me? If you above average, like you say, you could ball out, but you know you ain't gonna make it to the NBA or, or WNBA or, or whatever. You know what I mean? So well, just have the foresight to know whether or not you're gonna make. Yes, it. yes, like, yeah, how, yeah. How, yeah, you, that, that, how but, do you know that? How do you have? The but then you got now. Nah, you don't don't get me wrong. Cause well, my thing is you you should know yourself. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. You should know yourself, and then you should be. And this is what goes with people telling you the truth, or as opposed to what what you want to hear as as well. Failure is unacceptable. Huh? Failure is unacceptable. Failure, duh. You learn from failure. Is it acceptable? I'm like me. I'm a blase type dude. Now you say you ask me the same thing now as as opposed to say 20 years. ago. You can at 23 put all your eggs in a basket because you got time to make that up. Mm. You, you feel what I'm saying? You got time. I can't do that right right now, but right, right, yeah, of I would tell any any of you, you my son, I tell anybody though. Put if it, that's how you feel, if that's how you feel, and and you, but at the same time, you have to make logical decisions or be realistic with yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be. You have a dream, like you you want to make it to the NBA, but you know you you in the facade, like yeah, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, but. In real life, though, you're not even halfway. You, right, know, right, you right, understand right, what I'm saying? Right, you got to be real right. about that, because generally it's the other way around, bro. Generally, you are that good, and you just don't believe it. Mm -hmm. In our world, yeah, in, yeah. in the hoops that we're talking, it's a confidence thing. It's about the push for that finish line. But because yeah. we're talking high stakes over here, we're not talking like, oh, we might make it. No, no, no. But, that's a uh, real goal. No, I get, I get your point. When I get out on the court, I'll be cooking. So I know what I can do. I know what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no... Uh, that's that's, about that's my an American opinion. thing. That's an American thing. Over here, it's a little different. It's kind of hard. But then I don't think you categorize it as being an, an American thing. It's, the it's belief, just how the confidence? You, yeah, because it's just what's instilled in you, though. It just, yes and no. I don't think... Because we're talking about... Because we're out here in New Zealand, you know, we talk about that tall poppy stuff. You can't help but it sinks in a little. But, it sinks in, for sure. But if my daddy was saying, bro, listen... But what do you think? Because we have we have black already, right? Mm -hmm. That's why it was easier easier for us to be a little more confident, a little more, a little more. But it's still, it's still we here. But I cannot speak on that. I cannot speak on that because I ain't never, I've have never even come come close to even competing on that that level. You know, different options. I never really had different options to be honest. Like it was only one, ever one thing for me. But you know, I always have adversity. Thought you're gonna have to go through some adversity at some point in your life. And that's why it's hard for Kiwis, uh, for for guys hitting over there. Uh, that's that's a lot of the reason why it's hard. You cannot accept a challenge or want to go over for a challenge and not expect to be challenged. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You can't be the man <laughs> over in New Zealand and then you'd be like, okay, I want to go test myself 
against the best or better competition somewhere else. And then when that better competition is there, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, uh, I don't want to. I'm gonna go back to to where it's comfy. The, it, exactly. And you put that. Comfort. You, and as you, Comfort's you, a killer, you're right? Cheating yourself. You know what I think made it made that though. Like I think these days the whole new thing is is like with not having to go to, not like since you don't have to go to college and go to go to the NBA mm. now. Like all there being all these like you can duck competition now. You know what I'm saying? Like. I feel like there used to be like there was one way to go to the NBA. You had to go to college or be like good in Europe, you know, come straight over. Like you know, there was only two things, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the best players are all here. That's a good now way to put you it. can fucking duck. You can go. Oh, I'm gonna duck go competition. I'm gonna not go to college. I'm gonna go just go professional. I'm gonna go play in this little league and wherever the fuck. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna go to France and play on this team as a rather than go play against the best dudes that that are my age. You know, like is everyone, that ducking though? Know, like, no, is that smart? No, I think is I think that ducking or smart? I think you can no, but th there's that you got to play that game too. Yeah, that's why I respect like is whoever's that... like you know like there, uh, it is ducking to me, but there is the game. You have to play the game to put yourself in the right. The chess, the chess is not. Shit. I played against dudes, literally smoked them, carved them, whatever, and then they're in the league or whatever. You know, like that's guys in college. Guys. Did you guys feel pressure to to play? From anyone? When y'all was coming up? Yeah, or is this, y'all knew this is what y'all wanted to do? I, I was obsessed with it, but it's like from an extremely young age, like, no one had to ever tell me to go outside and play basketball, you know, I, it was just, that's what I was doing, yeah. and I was, yeah, I've been obsessed with this game for, for as long as I can remember, honestly. You, you be? Yeah, I felt pressure to play. My name's Benny Jr. It's still there. But uh, it gave me the, the it gave me my trade. But now I grow older and I do love the game. I do love it. But I guess I guess it was just the rebel in me not wanting to do something because I felt like I was being forced to. Yeah. Mm. Like that was another thing. I didn't love the game as much as everybody else did. I just, just good at it. it. Just good at it. I like to compete. I really like competing. I've been fortunate enough to be on the court as all these guys, you know, like we talk about Isaac Foto, we talk about the Rubens, and then before that, the Peros, like... They get buckets though, right? They do get buckets though. This part of the yeah. Kiwis can ball. That's right. Kiwis yeah, can yeah. ball. It's full stop. We okay. can ball. Like, mm -hmm. there's a real, there's a real thing out here. Like, and to have how many? We got five mil in this country. I don't know the exact count. We got five yeah, mil. Man. And we out here punching with everybody. That's another reason I proved that I can do this. What was that? Was you? You was on the team when at the World Champs. Yeah. That's it. What was that? That's that's what you can't. What's the, that's the thing I was saying. What and they came up with New Zealand. Like they came like up that. with America again this year. They got America in the pool again. And, and again. That shit's gonna happen again. But what was that experience like, though? Y'all the World Champs, and then y'all you playing against people that's up. Me, I ain't no starstruck dude. Me, it, it, if I was playing, then I'd just be playing. That's that's that's, that's just me. But then, you know what, bro? I hated playing against America. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to answer. Bro. I wanted you to answer. We went into that game like literally, like fucking. Oh, this is Stephen Curry. This is fucking. Uh, you can't play the game Rose. like that. This is fucking. You uh, can't win like that. Davis. This is yeah. Ian Fareed. Like you know, and like oh, like. We just like we really we went into that game and we just participated. Like the team talk leading up to it, like we didn't even really scout and we took it, didn't even take it serious. We submitted to them before the, the game, game even started. Not just them, before we submitted the to about two other started. teams as well. But I get the whole like as well, like the coaching aspect of like strategizing which games we're really gonna focus on and like you know because you can't. But that meant like, which had a competitor as well. You know, I mean, yeah, 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 we had a competitor. <laughs> And we came out and we got fucking 40 bombed by them. Like, you know, like, don't get me wrong, they were bomb? way better than no, us. No, they won by like 27. 30 bombed then. That's a 30 bomb down there. That's okay, you can have But, you know, like, don't get me wrong, they were, but we ain't no sorry ass scrubs either. They were a great team, but like, you know, I, I, I felt like we went in with a losing attitude from the fucking jump. And that's competitors for you. Yeah. That's competitors for you, yeah. though. Which I was going to do at the World Cup. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we got the pool of death. We got yeah, USA. Jordan, USA, Greece. Damn. So like, and only top two go through the pool as well. Damn. So it's, we got the task. Like, you know, we're gonna have to have of like a huge upset 
for, to have any type of success. success. You know, like to go through, just to go through the pool, we're gonna have to play out of our minds. You know, yeah, it's gonna it's be the eyes, it's a everything. Game. You know, we're gonna literally have to play our best basketball, which is like an exciting thing to think about and like opportunity and everything. But like, yeah, it's gonna be tough, man. Those are some good ass teams. I think on the right day, anybody can win these fucking games. It's it's one game. You know, these at these world champs, you've seen crazy shit happen. The like I chance. said, it just takes a good run. It doesn't have to be a miracle. Yeah, it it's not a series. Yeah, it's yeah. just a good run. That's you gotta win some big ones. That's for sure. But it's not. It's not. It's not best of seven each team. Steve should be playing though. Sure. <laughs> but he heard. He heard right now. He heard right now. But yeah, man. I think. I think that's a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Adams was talking like he's a conspiracy yeah, theorist. I mean, we had some here like conspiracy theorists acting like we, you know, like he gonna do. Uh, we do know what he's gonna do. We do know what he's gonna do. How he wants to. He ain't gonna play. That's what he's gonna do. I don't think he's gonna play either, dog. I don't think he ever will. You don't think he ever gonna play? If we don't play now, like. Funny. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think he ever will. And if you don't, and if you don't, and you just say solid, I, I respect that. He too. said, "Fuck him for real." He said, "Fuck him for real," and, <laughs> and, stood, up, and stood on it. Too. <laughs> I respect that. Steve said, "Man, I'm getting checked up. I'm getting checked, man." Respect to Steve. Man, a. It, it was hard. It was it was hard at the start. Not really, because at the start it was like, man, if we had Steve and a couple of these twelve men that we've taken over. You plus Steve in there, that would have really, really changed the dynamic of things. I think as a group, as the players, it was quite hard to accept just because we are, we knew how much it meant for us to play but for this shit. I'm just speaking on our perspective because like, we, I can't yeah. speak for this man. Mm -hmm. And of course, a no is a no. Like, I'm not going to sit here and judge him for his, for his choices. But I think at, at one point, yeah, I was, I was upset that he wasn't playing, for sure, when I knew that how much he would be... An influence and us get potentially getting the middle. Well, why do you think? Why? I mean, and you can only assume. You can only assume. Why do you think he he, he played? That's a tough. That's a loaded question, bro. Like I don't want to say why he did anything. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, no. I can't yeah. sit here and 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 speak. And cause one thing that I've would have acknowledged about it is we can't tell this man how to spend his money and spend his time. Bro, yeah, that's, that's what facts. I've. That's, that's you know facts. what I mean? That's kind of. That's, that's, that's what I've grown in sports. Into. That's just yeah. And yeah. we're sitting here, and I've and I've heard people be like, "No, Steve should be doing this. Steve should be doing this." And I'm going, "Fuck if I, if they were talking about Steve me like this, awesome. if they was talking about me like this, I'll be sick." Actually, hey, 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 like when you when y'all played, like let's say y'all do, because this um, like you say, I ain't never been like on no no level <clears throat> of playing, and I always ask people uh, who I meet. Uh, that play it, that do, do you get, and Tika to test I say all the time, and Justine, do y'all get nervous when you play? I think you told me you don't get nervous, you just get anxious. I get anxious to get out there, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. in the warm up, like, sit, like, biting my nails, like, fucking, let's start right now. Yeah. Would, I'm would gonna you, get, yeah. yeah would I used you, to get nervous. You get nervous? I used to get, get nervous. Anxious, yeah. I used to, but I, when I, but I'd be honest about it, I'd, I'd be like, Dad, I'm nervous. And I always think about that. I always think about what Dad says when when I used to get nervous. And nerves are a good thing. Scared isn't just nervous. Means you care, eh? Yeah. You, that's what someone's nerves are a good thing. You play better nervous. Just you better you be fucking just nervous. Just you care about the outcome. You know, yeah, like you, you better be nervous. And if you're not nervous, if you're if you're chilling too much, that game shoot Yeah, you, you, you ain't that nice. You're supposed to be smashing. You ain't nice <laughs> enough to just disrespect <laughs> the game like that. You, you better have some sort of anxiety or nerves about you before you get out there, mm. or else you don't care enough. Yeah, I would, I would feel that. Yeah, you, there are moments in the game that I do get nervous, you know? Like, if there's a big three throw or something and I step up, like, sometimes I'm up there like, oh, fuck, you know, as well. Like, there are moments in the games, or like, if there's a shot that I need to make or whatever. But like, I think that, that's gone that then. Come, it's gone by then for me. Yeah, it's before. Only. That just comes with the moment. It yeah. comes with well, the moment. How much time I got to think about it. If I'm yeah. in the flow of the game, you know, yeah. like, I'm not no, thinking but about I like, like, it's it's time time now. Imagine you, if, you know, like when they try icing, like that's a real thing. Icing yeah, the three throw yeah, shoot yeah. and shit like that. That works. Because you're worried about the outcome. Exactly. And if you perform and uh, what's going to be. Exactly. Uh, um, worried about the outcome. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really felt like that. Just, yeah, people really gonna like me that. or they gonna dislike me or you know that. Yeah. I think that 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 comes. That, that is crazy. That's like super super wild. Like thinking about that though, like from w what you just said in regards to that, like the average person doesn't know what y'all really be going through while y'all be doing what y'all what y'all doing. It's it's easy for people like myself to say on the outside looking in like that motherfucker should have made those free throws. Hey, why do you think you know we're that? so mellow all the time? Why do you think basketball players so mellow? Why? Because you have to master your emotions. You have yeah. to master them. You have that's why off the court things don't matter as much no more because you've had to calm yourself down in some high intensity environments where the lights are bright, you're all by yourself and all you got yeah. is your thoughts. Only you can calm you down then. How do you do that? Shit, we've all got our ways. Mm. Sometimes it doesn't even work. Sometimes you let that shit win. But the older you get, the more you learn to woosa the way that you do it. That, I know that shit would be crazy. It was always a yes for me. It was always a win. It was a un, it was a crazy belief that I didn't give a fuck. It was a yes. It was good. Everything was good. Like I just, it was always, it was never their way. It was always my way. That's how I. That's the way. That's the mentality that I had. Yeah, always going into. It to never felt game. like I never gave them an inch. As soon as the game started, I would. I was a bully. I turned into, even mentally, like they couldn't have anything. Mm. Hmm? Do hey hey this is the question? Do y'all think y'all better than y'all dad is? I think I would kill my dad <laughs> in his prime. In his prime, yes. <laughs> not kill him, not kill him because I have. Like, you know, like don't get me wrong, I got respect for his game. I hundred percent, and I know he played defense too. And he's like, yeah, he hasn't seen my shit, you know. Like they didn't have that shifty, they didn't have that shiftiness. He's the eighties, bro. Like it's a different. He game. He had a pull up though. It's a different game. I'm stopping this. I play defense too, bro. I'm stopping this. <laughs> he this. Says he ain't that much taller. I mean, like, we're the same height. You killing him? You I'll, getting him? I'll you get him, getting him? Bro. I'll, 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 I've got too much. <laughs> my, I got the new age game, you know. He ain't got that new gen shit. He's got the old school shit. That's not cutting it. The most I think his dad was mean kid. though. His dad might brody him, like bully him, like do some evil shit just right. to just to kind of just yeah, make punk, give you give you a little yeah, make you start punk. crying, bro. Like I think his daddy had that meanness. Oh, you don't want to make me cry. You've lost if you make me cry. Because if I start crying, it's, it's over. Rage, it's it's rage, 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 bro. I'm not in hope mode. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, I'm winning man. all the teams hey, getting flipped over. You're already over. in first. You're already in first. That's the boy saying he killed him, dog. Hey, I'm to take him. You I probably couldn't take Benny's dad, but I could take my dad for you, sure. You, you putting them up on? You giving them buttons? Man, we argue about this all the time. What was he better than me at? That's where I stop. What? The mid range? No. Is he better than you in the mid range? No, no, range? no. My float's crazy. I don't really shoot a pull up. I shoot a mid range. My three ball's more consistent. They talk about the footwork. My footwork was crazy. That's yeah, him, the three ball. No. When I've seen him, did he have a good three ball when he was playing? My shot's time? way better than his. That's why I didn't see him My shot, my 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 jump shot, way better. He said he was he was streaky. My shot was more. Y'all have y'all damn near have the same like form jump shot anyway. I shoot like this, bro. Fuck mm. you. He got a little. Yeah, he got a little. He's seen it. He got a little form on it. Yeah. That boy see. But. Yeah, I think I think what well, what it breaks down to is because I stopped this argument because obviously we're more skilled than our fathers at the game because the game got more skilled, mm. but then it breaks down to because I because it's the generational talk that they have like Wilt versus the new guys like it's it's not about how good they were at the sport it was about how they dominated the men around you it's about the dominance of men you know so I think like looking back my dad yeah, I think Mike get buckets these days Mike would. They might get in buckets like this, this Jordan. Yeah, today. No, I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying that the generational no part doesn't matter. The way that you, the way that you measure it, the best is your peers. How your peers were getting shit at all. I was like, did you say no? Mike Jordan's getting buckets right now. If he was, if he was here right now playing, when we played, he's talking like, old Mike. Yeah, I ain't talking about the fifty six. Oh, I'm talking about the seventy year old Mike. I'm like, hell no. But yeah, no, <laughs> of course, Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the goat, bro. That's the but, goat. I'm sorry, sorry. You... No, no, I think, I think, of course Mike would get buckets. I think they would be way better defenders now. Everybody's long as shit. Everybody's super but Mike athletic. Yeah, but that's the thing, too. Like, Mike, 
was so obsessed that he would have done whatever it took to get to how the game is now. As like well. I said, he would have like yeah, you know, that three ball would have figured, got away. Yeah, he would have done other things to be. He would have been a completely different player if he grew. You know, if he was playing now. Some this or that. Yes, this or that. that. Yeah. Mike or LeBron. Michael. Mike. Mike, it's easy. Not easy. It's not easy. Steph or Magic? Steph. Steph. Real? I haven't really seen Magic play, honestly. It's a little bit past, it's a little bit too past my time. I can understand you. I think Magic is, is So Magic is was it. better than Steph? Is that yeah, what you're I, trying to I say? I missed it. I huh? missed Magic. Are you trying to say Magic was better than Steph? If I had to pick between the two, I'm taking Magic Johnson. I'm not taking Steph Curry. Okay, you're why? Magic why? Is a better Can you explain? Than explain explain why. I think, why? He's, I think, well... At 6'8", he's an extremely tall point guard, can handle the ball, can dish, and can score. And he can play does he score the better? Does he score better than Curry? Fuck but no. Does he score better than Curry? Yeah. But that ain't no, his Curry. Than Curry. We're talking about Curry. He, he don't, right? But he don't shoot like that, though. Does he, uh, what's he, like, uh, does he score better than Curry? No, he doesn't. He doesn't okay. score the ball. So what does he do Curry. better than? He rebounds better than Curry. Rebounds, assists, assists. No, but floor general. general. How much better general. of a passer would you say he is than Curry? Oh, a uh, lot better. Than, you would say like he, he's like oh, S tier and yes. Curry's what yes. like a yes. B level yes. passer or something. Yeah, yeah. Really, Magic Johnson. Magic Curry, you don't think you don't think Curry's a good passer though? He can drop a dime, but then he ain't Magic though. Three's been worth more than two, bro. But you know Last that two checked. going in. You know that two going in. He got two rebounders. There ain't no guarantee and no rebound. It going in, bro. We talking about today's NBA. It going ain't in, no, bro. Ain't no, nah, nah. Drake or Kanye? Drake, Drake. Not even close. Kanye, oh, Kanye had Kanye, Kanye is 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 in your heart because of his first maybe four, three, three albums, three and a half albums. Drake's LeBron. It was his they're first three. To give him a, they're gonna have to give him the goat when it's done. College? That's crazy though. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. About about fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantasy. That's right. Life of Pablo. No, you're right about that. No, uh, Life of Pablo was half album as well. So you can. Yeah, but but you were right about too. my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. That's that's, that's quite my. You're right about. That. I don't even necessarily say but, that Drake has like classic albums. Really, like he does. the closest one I would say would be. Um, it's longevity and. But that's and, what I mean. He's got so many fucking like. It's longevity and influence. Kanye has let us down with those last couple albums. Even if you weren't feeling Drake's last albums, they were still good. And you're still listening to them the whole nah, way through. I can't. Kanye, Kanye though, got some followers, though, dog. He do. For sure, don't get me wrong. But Kanye better than Drake? I think, okay, okay. I think he's got more classics than Drake. But as for, I think he's let us down, not just as much, but I think he's been letting us down lately. Drake, he's staying Drake consistent. Is consistent. I Drake think that his consistency and his longevity is, is is not surpassed Kanye's, but I think his his catalog is more consistent. I'm just not a fan. I, was, I can't mess with him. I can't. Jay Z or not? Ooh, Jay Z. Jay Z's the girl. He he, he's he yeah, won the battle as well. Yeah, he beat he beat Nas in the battle. Excuse what? me? What? For what? This for what? what? And they went back and forth. Uh, listen. That beat? No, Jay Z about... went back and forth. Nas he hit, hit him once. Oh no, that's tough for me. I like more Nas songs, but I respect Jay Z's catalog more. Like I, re like I get why he's the goat. The catalog. It, it, no, no, I, I like, no, I like more Nas songs though. But I what's the criteria? For what? For the goat. For being the goat. For yeah. Rings. Are we talking strictly raps, or is we talking about? No, we're talking good? how well it did, perceived by the public. Album sold. I mean, this is for me at least. Album sold, as well as, of course, skills are encompassing because people can get lucky, have one good song, all of that. But like, yeah, no, nah, rings like accolades, as well as how good something is, because it's all just a matter of opinion at the end of the day. You know, like we all, you, you yeah, all perceive yeah. it a different way, and it's all just like uh, whatever you like more than the other one. You guys but are crazy. It's Jay Z. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. It's Jay Z. I think now is a better lyricist. Then Jay? Yeah. He's a better storyteller? For sure. For yeah. sure. I don't know about Lurus. Storyteller, but yeah. I think Nas is, Nas is, is East Coast and Jay is the world. 
But then Nas come rocking his bitch and it's in New Zealand. I just went and seen him a couple years ago. Yeah, I'm it's disrespectful. Like, but out. we're talking high stakes, say. Like, it's Nas versus, versus Jay Z. They're both goats. Like, of course. I'm not saying I don't like Nas. But your preference but is J. J. Preference is J. Versus J. Course, he bro. takes a L. Shay Fu. Oh, shit. Shea Savage. Fu. Damn. I gotta go. <laughs> Do you know what? Sa Savage has the biggest ring of all, like, <laughs> being on that song with Akon and, like, that little run he had, and the fact that that song still swing or whatever, like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. like, that was in the movie. famous, that and was it's in movie. movies, yeah. like, that's, like, the biggest ring of all time, like, <laughs> other than Scribe, like, you know, like, he's the biggest, he's got the biggest ring in New Zealand to me, like, but, Shafu kind of fired to me as well. Shafu kind of. I'll probably go with Shafu, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Shafu, man. Like, I fuck with Shafu. You Shea went Fu. proper boomerang on that whole yeah, answer, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep on guessing. You thought I was correct. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go with the ring, man. Fuck the rings. <laughs> nah, Shafu. Shafu different, bro. He, he different. And he'd been doing it since I was a jit. Like, since I was five years old listening to Shafu, you know, type of shit. I'm picking Shay as well. I'm with y'all on that. I just like his music. Savage, goddamn. <laughs> Kendrick, J. Cole. Kendrick for me. It's close though. But Kendrick's got him for me. If we're being honest, I listen to J. Cole more than Kendrick. Gangster rap or, or, or conscious rap? The older I get, the more it turns conscious. When I was younger, it was gangster rap 100%. I realized that the message that we were listening to was all wrong. Like, what the fuck are we playing in our ears? Like, it beats into your heart, and you start and you start trying to do these things. You know what I mean? Mm. Or still, or there's a party mm. that thinks that that's cool. The older I get, the more I'm around these kids, man. You can't, you can't. It's a bad influence. But I definitely play some gangster rap still. What you uh, What you uh, Depends what mode I'm in. You know? I got two mm -hmm. modes. I'm smashing or I'm laxing. Like. Is it, I feel you. If I'm smashing, it's gangster. Like, you know, if I'm getting ready to play ball or whatever, like, I'm listening to the most ruthless shit there is. If I'm laxing, though, like, yeah, nah, I, ain't, I don't want to hear no gangster, no gangster shit. This is, that is what? Tim Duncan or KG? Shit, Timmy. Timmy. That's a good one. You have to go Tim just because of the career, right? Eh? Like, no, KD, no, no, KD, no. KD, how many of the KG? Yeah, you had to see it, bro. Uh, Timmy was that dude. Was there? Oh, see, I, Timmy's damn near my top five. Like, is Dirk no, Nowitzki like, better than uh, Barkley? Dirk Nowitzki? Yeah. Dirk yes. Nowitzki. Yes. No. He's not better than Charles no. Barkley? No. Yes, yes. No, I don't think so, though. I don't think so. Charles giving you the everything. Charles giving you everything. Dirk did it too. Charles giving you the threes. He giving you the rebounds. He giving you the assists. Dirk did he it too. Dirk did those. Dirk it's, did all of those. Dirk, 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 Dirk was yeah, a bad man. And have, he went and took his whole squad to a chip one time. If you put the he whole He won. Thing, yeah. He won one. Yeah. He, 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 he won one. That's enough. If you buy yourself. That's the one that matters when you buy yourself. Ooh, I don't, I don't. But then Barkley too, he was here. It was and his. he didn't get one. And he didn't get one. Yeah, yeah, and he and he and he played in three teams. No, two. No, Rock. three with the Rockets. He three with the Rockets. You're right. But well, I'm thinking. I'm just kind of feeling in Phoenix. See what I mean? Yeah. And he did yeah. it not as nice as Dirk. Sorry. I, sh I think he It's just nice. no. That's your preference. But Don't he wasn't. Me, but uh, he, the numbers. You got to count the numbers on that one. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We had a wonderful discussion out here. I want to definitely thank these two brothers okay. for coming through. You feel me? Um, check me again. We're going to uh, organize something else once we get this one and out there. And we're going to see who's going to come through. Thank y'all very much. Good night,